Hello guys and guys, and welcome back to another TGOT Tutorials Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to be covering the most misstep I've seen on every web development tutorial here on YouTube, and that is website planning. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting out the pencils, we are getting out the paper, we are planning today, by far the most important step in website development, and people are skipping it. Let's do this. So last week we did a little tutorial on the basics of HTML and I just kind of felt like we did one step too far and I want to kind of bring it back a little bit for you guys and show you the most important missed step I see on every single website development tutorial here on YouTube. That's why today what I'm going to show you is how you can get actual pen and paper, plan out your website and make sure that it is perfect to your liking before you actually jump into the code. That way you get less confused when you get with all the confusing code and it makes more sense with what you're actually trying to do here. I like to think of it more as kind of like if you're writing an essay in class and you just go for it. I mean sure you'll get an essay done, but usually the essay that you plan beforehand is just a little bit better. Let's all be real here. I think we all know that's true. For example, this is a design that I did first you'll see that my newer design is actually a ton more developed and a ton more professional looking than my first draft. This sort of draft and revision phase is probably the most important thing you can do when developing a website. Keep in mind guys, it's okay to scrap, it's okay to use an eraser. The only reason why I did mine in pen is because I actually have one of those cheeky little eraser pens, which is totally fine. But my point being, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to draft, it's okay to make 10 of these. I would actually recommend making 10 of these little draft layout things just to completely solidify what you want to be doing with your website and how you want to convey it, how you want it to be laid out, what message you want to drive, etc, etc, etc. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the basics of what sort of notation you guys want to be using when making your layouts, what thought processes you should be going through, and where you guys should start on these sort of website layout sketchups. Let's do it. So to start off, you're going to want to grab a piece of graph paper. Line paper will work, however, you need vertical lines to kind of perfectly nail your scale and accuracy. If you don't have graph paper, you can download some really cool template style layout sheets from sneakpeekit.com slash browser dash sketch sheets. I've downloaded the simple wireframe browser layout and it works perfectly for those in a pinch. What you are seeing now is a draft of a website I will be making with you guys for this tutorial series. I plan to make it my official YouTube network website once it's completed. So to start off, you want to consider what it is that you want to drive with your website and who you are trying to reach with it. For me, I wanted to display my YouTube videos and social media accounts to potential viewers, so I attempted to make those two things my focus with this sketch. As you can see, I've made a nice big header for a video that will autoplay when the page is loaded, and I've also added a place to click for each one of my YouTube channels. If you're feeling a little bit stumped for ideas, that's perfectly okay. Just go on the internet for a while and pay attention to what others are doing on their websites and some creative ideas will start to flow in. Down below, I quickly wanted to introduce myself and what I do here on the internet to anyone who may not know. Nothing special, just a quick introduction to me. I will add some information about what I like to do in my spare time, etc, etc. There's no need to write actual text for something like this, just put lines down and fill in the content later. Remember, the purpose of this sketch is just to let your creative juices flow. A little bit below that, I want to display and publicize the goals I'm working towards on my YouTube channels. This way, I am completely transparent with my viewers. This section will offer my viewers a, a quick at-a-glance look into what drives me here on YouTube. It will also push those who see this website to help me realize those goals as a sort of subliminal call to action, if you will. Next, I created a section to showcase all of my social media links all in one place. This does seem a little bit overwhelming right now, and I plan to revise this section later so that there are less buttons just staring you in the face, but it was important for me to just get some ideas down on the paper at this time. Notice that I've added text areas to the top and bottom of these links. This will give a little bit more explanation as to why I'm just smacking people with these links and yet again being transparent with my viewers as to why I am promoting these things. Finally, towards the bottom I've inserted a little footer section. This will have my branded logo once more and will contain some legal copyright and trademark information. I will also try to squeeze in some contact information for those who wish to send me business inquiries. All in all, this process is just really relaxing and fun. The most important part is just figuring out what you are trying to achieve with your website. For me, I just wanted to create a one-stop shop that features all of my content in one place. 
Once you figure out what purpose you want your website to serve, designing is just up to what you want to do. There's absolutely no limit when it comes to web development, so don't limit yourself in this stage. Design to your heart's content and make many, many drafts. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it kind of gets you on the right foot towards making your website. We will be taking this layout we've made today and we will be actually turning it into code, turning it into CSS, turning it into an actual formulated website in upcoming tutorials here on TGOT Tutorials. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that red subscribe button to be notified when I put up a new installment of this series so you guys don't have to come back and check the channel periodically. It'll just let you know in your subscription feed. And if you want to be extra special and you guys want to be on the ball, you can actually subscribe to get text message notifications when I upload a new tutorial here so you're never out of the loop and you might even get first comment. I don't know. It still amazes me how that sort of thing matters to you guys, but Hey, <laughs> everyone who subscribes to the text message notifications will get access to these tutorials a whole day earlier than everyone else who subscribes here. So that's just a little added bonus for you guys being awesome. Anyways, follow me on Google Plus, guys. I'm trying to get a thousand followers on there so I can be eligible for the verified tick mark because it's an arbitrary goal, but it's a goal nonetheless, and I like working towards goals. So make sure you follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. Don't really have a Facebook anymore. Comment if you want, if this helped you. And like the video because it helps my video get out to more people, help more people, and sharing is caring. So make sure you guys share this video with people that you think would find it useful, like your dog, your grandma, your mom. I don't know, was your mom into web development? I hope she is because it's a good field to go into. Heck, I wish my mom was a web developer. <laughs> but all jokes aside, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Tuesday for another tutorial, and I will catch you all in the next one. As always, take it easy. Peace out.